It happens every day in the workplace. People get stuck. Stuck thinking inside the box. Using the same problem solving technique. Relying on traditional solutions. How do you make the box bigger? How do you show them there is no box? My name is Steve Holmes. I'm going to show you how I did just that on the first value study that I led. It was a simple road intersection with a problem. Too many crashes or collisions. The intersection had already been rebuilt twice and previous studies had come up with 23 different ways to solve the problem and no decision had been taken. This image shows the intersection. The main highway goes north-south. Highway traffic was making right turns and crashing and traffic from the side road was making a left turn out on the highway and crashing. A site visit early in the morning uh, with our human factor specialists alerted the team to the fundamental issues the drivers could not see because of the slight hill to make a safe left turn and cars coming down the hill especially in the rain who were making too fast a right turn and losing control. The value team came up with a completely different solution than any of the others that have been looked at in the past. They recommended moving the road. So what were the results of my first value study? The intersection was moved from the red circle to the north at a much safer location with good sight lines, the ability to put a nice right turn in from the main highway to the secondary highway, and the ability to use the former highway as access to the farms to the south. The secret to success, why was it more successful than the previous studies, was we get more creative ideas from a team rather than individuals following the methodical job plan in a value engineering study gets you reliable results. And you have a facility workshop that where the facility challenges ideas gives you the climate for change. My name is Steve Holmes. I hope you attend some other sessions and learn more about value engineering. Thank you. Have a great day.